Hey there, are you a solo Rust player? You must not have any friends just like me. Oh, you do have friends? They're all just busy watching their favorite streamers for Twitch drops? <laughs> yeah, so are mine. Anyways, playing Rust solo is like playing on hard mode, which often means that you're gonna have a bad time, because you'll always find yourself outnumbered in a gunfight. And if you do manage to win a fight, you won't have enough space in your inventory to take all the loot back to your base. And you won't have enough time to do everything like crafting, building, farming or doing scrap runs, which often means you'll be behind the curve. But that shouldn't stop you from playing Rust solo, because it's a whole experience on its own. Just watch how my wipe went. Rust as a solo won't start easy. Everything will be trying to kill you, including the first person that you meet. Hey, what the fuck are you doing, man? I see you. Friendly, friendly, friendly. No, you threw you swung at me, man. This is my hat now. This is totally my hat. I'm sorry, man. I have to kill you because I'm doing this thing where I kill people with caps and you had a cap on. I guess he wasn't trying to kill me. The point I was trying to make is that you'll be dying a lot before you can build your base and get settled down. Okay, never mind, I didn't die. I guess you should always expect the unexpected in Rust. Now that we have a base, let's go look at the neighbors and make some allies. Leave me! Leave me! I know you want to kill me! <laughs> hey guys, sorry. I needed the wood. Okay, that wasn't a good first impression. Let me go back and be diplomatic. Oost, oost! Oost, oost! Oost, oost! Oost, oost! What? Hey, don't say that language, man. What does oost mean? Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, my friend. Merci, merci. Je me parle. Je me parle. You speak English? the man. You speak English? Francais? Francais? Yeah! Oui! Français, je me parle les man. Oui, oui. Now I learned history at school, and these are not the allies we're looking for. Hey guys. Now these are the type of allies we're looking for. And please just go away. You're so. Go farm something, you dumbass. What? I just got here. Not for you, man, not you. Nah, man, the horse is unmovable. I do not want to move your horse. Oh. Kissing. Kissing my horse? What was that, Peanut? You don't like those kisses? Get out of here, Peanut, these guys are crazy. <laughs> no, he's gonna have nightmares. No, you, you fucker! <laughs> Peanuts! <gasps> Peanuts! <laughs> Fucking gangbangers, man! Okay, so I have French guys and horse lovers living in my area. And things weren't going too well for me. So, I decided to respawn randomly and leave my base behind. Instead of leaving the server because things aren't going your way, try exploring a new area. Don't be afraid of abandoning your first base. You never know what you might find on the other side of the map. Oh my word, what a revy!
that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> that's that's. There's nothing more I can do. Okay. So you missed your shot, but don't worry. There's always a new opportunity around every corner. Now that you have some resources, you can build a new base. But this time, let's try hiding it in between some rocks. Because as a solo, it's important to be hidden. Which is why you'll be spending a lot of your time crouching around. Like, all the time. You're just gonna crouch around. Everywhere. Cause you're gonna try hide. You might as well glue your pinky to that control button. Just kidding. Don't crouch around for too long. It's not good for your back. And you might turn into Gollum. point is, you're going to have to be sneaky as a solo. Oh my god, what? In Rust, you have to get used to moments like this. Making a big play and then losing it all in a blink of an eye. It's gonna happen often. But you don't care about me dying. You're probably wondering how I got the Tommy gun in the first place. Well, let me show you. Step 1. Lay an ambush. Step 2. Use cover. Step 3. Hit your shots. And the final step, get the hell away from there as soon as you can before his friends show up. Now that you have a gun, use it. Guns lead to other guns. Which leads to some more guns. And when you have more guns, you won't worry about losing your gun. Off, man. <sighs> but you can always go back to your other guns. Which then leads you to another gun. What's he got? A gun. And that, kids, is how I met your mommy. I mean, Tommy, Tommy. That's how I met your Tommy. That's how I got the Tommy. Anyways, guns also lead to other things, like more resources. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> and once you have more resources, you can build a bigger base, which means your loot will be safer. Speaking of loot, this reminds me, I found this C4 in an airdrop. Oh, what? No one went for it. Because it was night. No ways. And I found another C4 in a lock crated airfield. Whoa, what? Now that you have some explosives, you should think about raiding and taking other people's loot. But raiding as a solo requires some planning. First, you're going to have to scout for a small base since you only have 2C4. Now that you've found one, you have to think it will have some decent loot inside. This one was located right next to military tunnel, so it looked promising. Then, you have to be aware of counter raiders. My base was really close, so I should have time to run away before anyone showed up. Oh, and someone will always show up, even if it's just a curious caveman with his rock, or a solo counter raider with his tommy gun. Now it was time for the raid. 
What, I don't have pants? Before we see what's behind this wall, just remember, this is only a game. Even if you find no loot from a raid, don't beat yourself up about it. Nothing is going to last forever. Just like in real life, having more loot doesn't mean you're going to have more fun in the rest. Oh, oh my god. Okay, ignore everything I just said. I'm gonna have so much fun with all this loot. Oh, I fucking knew it! Ah, the counter raiders. They were too late because you planned out the raid. But remember, stay crouched and hidden. The last thing you want is to let them know where you live. Now that you have all this loot and a safe place to store it, you can roam around the map without worrying about dying. But something doesn't feel quite right. You feel a hole in you. There's no ambition or goals. There's no struggle for survival anymore. So what do you do? You start all over again. Fucking pee!